In this video, we'll take a look at the installation process for the Virtual Robotics Toolkit. We'll also spend a little bit of time discussing both the minimum and recommended system requirements, and we'll finish by mentioning some other LEGO tools that you may want to consider using. As you can see, the Virtual Robotics Toolkit makes use of a standard installation wizard. Simply familiarize yourself with the terms of the licensing agreement, agree to those terms, and click on the Install button to continue. Now depending on the type of computer that you're using, this could take a few minutes. However, once finished, we'll see that we can close the install wizard and that there is now a desktop shortcut to the simulator on our screen. Let's double click on that icon to open the Virtual Robotics Toolkit. We can see that we're prompted to enter an activation key or begin our trial. I'll make my selection and then click OK. And with that out of the way, the Virtual Robotics Toolkit is now installed to our computer. Now in order to get the most from the simulator, there's a few additional tools that you may want to consider using, such as the EV3 programming environment which can be downloaded for free from the official Mindstorms website. For building our 3D models, we'll be using LEGO Digital Designer, another free download from the LEGO group. Once our 3D models are built, we'll need a way of exporting them to the simulator. LDRAW is an open source CAD standard that is specifically built for working with LEGO. To install the LDRAW library, click on the Get Started link from the LDRAW homepage, choose a platform, and then click on the link for the step-by-step -step installation instructions. The LDRAW all-in-one installer is really what we're looking for here, so I'll give that a click and download. With the install wizard open here, the features that we're most interested in are the LDRAW parts libraries. We can actually uncheck MLCAD and some of these other programs as a disk saving measure. With my selections made, I can click on the next button to specify an install path and finish the installation of the LDRAW all-in-one library. Next up is patching LEGO Digital Designer. We'll click on the help menu to patch LEGO Digital Designer so that we can work with our newly installed brick library. With the boring stuff out of the way, we're ready to explore the Virtual Robotics Toolkit.